Hey, what's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sequence function to generate a list of sequential number in your array. The sequence function allows you to basically uh, create, generate a list of values in your sequential order. So let me give you an example. So I think that'll be an easy way to uh, show you how to use the function. So here I have a blank Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to uh, insert my uh, function first. So the sequence function. We have four parameters and basically uh, only the rows parameter is required. And here if I simply just enter 10, so that will basically generate uh, 10 values from 1 to 10. And so let me go back. So the rows and the columns parameter are basically our dimension. And so we're saying that we want to generate 10 rows of sequential number. And if we provide a value to the uh, columns parameter, so let's do five. That just means that we want to create an array of four rows and five columns of sequential numbers. And let me enter to return the output. And here you can see that uh, giving the, the 10 rows by five dimension, and we generate the sequential number from one to 50. And now let's take a look at a different example. So let's say I want to generate 10 dates starting out from today. So I can do uh, 10 and I'll leave the columns uh, parameter blank. And for the start parameter, I'm going to use today function. The today function will give us today's date. And enter. And let me format the value as uh, short dates. And so today is March 15. So this will give us the, the dates for the next 10 days. Now let's look at the last example. Now instead of generating sequential number from let's say 1 to 50, we want to generate our number from 50 to 1. And what we can do is uh, we're going to insert the function sequence function. And let's do uh, let's do 10 rows by five columns. And we're going to start from 50. And we're going to step backwards. So we're going to uh, use negative value, so minus one. And that will basically uh, generate a sequential number from 50 to one. All right, guys. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And I forgot to mention that this is also one of the function that is added during the March 2019 Office update. For the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the rent array function to return an array of random numbers.